But Einstein's theory of relativity shows that this is not the case. Two people moving relative to each other, they have their own times and they're not the same. But at high speeds, really high speeds, the effects become enormous. Suppose, for example, we have a spacecraft and it's flying to a distant planet. And just suppose it's going at a speed equivalent to, well, let's say nine-tenths the speed of light, around 270,000 kilometers per second. And it's time itself that is slowed down. It's called time dilation. Now, you might think that the astronaut would find this all very strange, living in a world of slow motion. But no. His thinking processes will be slowed down in, in the same ratio. So for the astronaut, everything happening in the craft appears perfectly normal. But you might think, well, surely, you know, the, the astronaut will know his time has been going slow when he arrives at the distant planet, the expected time. No. There's a second effect of relativity theory. Relative speed affects not only time, but also distances. According to the astronaut, traveling at 270,000 kilometers per second, the distance from the Earth to the planet is only half of what the mission controller says it is. It's what we call length contraction. So we have uh, time dilation and also length contraction. The astronaut says, there's nothing wrong with my time. It's your distances that are squashed up. OK, if this is the first time you've come across this sort of thing, then it, it all seems quite bizarre. It's all been tested out and found to be true. 